It is a beautiful day this June 6th morning, afternoon, right in the middle there somewhere. Today is a recovery run. I am planning on going at least five and a half miles at a right around 10 minute pace. So we'll see if this speed work and pace training and cadence and all that stuff works out for me. So here we go. One mile down, average pace, 9.59. So might be the most successful first mile so far in this training program. So I'm two seconds, two seconds faster than my goal pace. So all I gotta do is keep it right here and I'm good. So here we go, four and a half to go at least. Two miles down, I slowed down my pace to about, I think it's 10.07, but part of it is because I stopped to pick up this thing. I think it's like a farrier's knife for shoeing horses. And I also attempted but failed at getting video of a deer on the side of the road. So that kind of slowed me down. So I got to pick it up to catch up my average. So two miles down, at least three and a half to go. Let's get it done. All right, we've, we're past halfway. We're at the three mile mark. And my average pace, I brought it up to 9.55. Or so doing good. One thing that helps me is air drumming to whatever song's playing. And also doing these videos. It takes my mind off of running, but I feel like I'm getting better at these distances. So here we go. Four miles down, one and a half to go. I got my pace for the last mile, holding pretty steady at 9.52 a mile. So that's pretty good. I got a little bit of room to slow, but I'm gonna try not to. Here we go. Five miles down, I'm on the last stretch. Got a slight headwind coming and a gradual incline. So I gotta fight to keep this pace going. Still keeping it steady between 950 and 953 mile pace. So home stretch. Five point. Five two miles completed. My average pace throughout was 9.55, which is six seconds fast, no, seven seconds faster than my goal pace for this run. So I think that's good. I don't think that's too much over or trying to overtrain or anything. So that's good got a day off tomorrow and then I think some more sprints on what is that Thursday so here we go. one thing I like to say before I end this vlog is how I calculate my cadence because that's what I've been really working on lately 
some people count cadence as every footfall. So left, right, left, right, left, right, each is a beat. And some people count just every other foot. So left, 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 and that's the cadence. So I've been counting every other foot. So every time my left foot lands every minute, that's a beat. And so then I come up with 85 beats per minute. So they say that the ideal, the ideal cadence is 90 beats per minute or 180 beats if you're counting both feet. So just to clarify, so you just gotta do a little math in your head depending on who you who you talk to or how you wanna count it. So uh, that's, that's the dealio, but good run. I feel like I'm making good progress towards my half marathon goal. So I really haven't honed in on what my, mar my half marathon goal pace and time will be but we'll see what it kind of averages out to at the end of my training and then I'll set a goal that I have to reach for a little bit and push for so thanks for following guys hit a like share subscribe if you are interested in keeping up if not it really doesn't matter I'm just doing this as a little bit of a motivation for me to keep going so keep pressing on